What's going on everyone? CJ back here with a brand new episode of the EA Sports College Football 25 Akron Zips Dynasty. That is right, we are back. So for the first time in this series, we are going to be taking on a fellow MAC opponent. Akron Zips coming in at 1-3 and, and the Ohio Bobcats 0-4. Actually a worse record than us. And a lot of schools can't say that. We are going to be traveling on down to Athens, though, looks like. So not sure if the uh, home field advantage will have any factor in today's game. But we really need to win this one today to move on up to two and three and maybe get some of these recruits to start committing. We got some who are really, really close. And we're starting to see some guys, uh, you know, around around the uh, college football world here, recruiting to schools, verbally committing to schools. Nobody choosing Akron U, though, yet. So... Hopefully a win today may change that. We got a lot to get into today though, guys. Cue the intro, man. Not too many points to work with here. 45 out of 400. We really need to get some more coaching hours. Dudley needs to level himself up, get on that next level. This is tough with only 400, let me tell you what. So may have to do some moving around today, but Brian Redman, we are really close to Northwest here. I just want to start getting some guys. He's not the best of the bunch by any means, but he's good enough, a three-star recruit. So I think it is time to do a little sell action here. I'll go ahead and move my camera so you guys can kind of see what we're working with, but I'm thinking uh, we could soft sell him. We could hard sell him. Soft selling is going to take 20, but that's, uh, you know, going to still chop our hours down significantly. So let's see what would be the best course of action here with Brian. And I already found it. It's a team player. He likes proximity to home. He's in Cincinnati, not too far from Northeast Ohio, where we're located. Coach stability is fine. Athletic facilities, you know, nothing too crazy. But the proximity to home, that is a good one. So we'll go ahead and set up uh, Mr. Brian Redman here for a good old soft sell. That should help get us back in the race, uh, get us above Northwest. And then Kevin Teague, we've been battling with the U all freaking season. You see we're down to 25 hours now. But guy like this, four-star recruit, he's good. We know that. I've been talking about him all series so far. I think we go ahead and contact his friends and family. We got to get, or we already are. Is that right? Yeah, we are, we are contacting his friends and family. Okay. So we could try to soft sell Kevin, which honestly, ah, we don't really have too much that he likes though. I don't think let's, let's give it a little peek ski. Let's give it a little, a little check here and see. Yeah, I don't have enough hours. Oh, that's right. Of course. We're using 50 out of 65 already on him. You got your top hours up there. That's the total hours. But then you got your player specific hours. So we couldn't soft sell him. And that's where it gets kind of tricky. So I suppose Kevin will DM him. I mean, he's down to his top three. And we've been battling with Miami all season long. I know it's only, you know, four games in, but still. So hopefully just DMing him, sliding up in his DMs, sending him a couple emojis. Maybe that will get him to reconsider coming to Akron U. Nick Najvar as well, man. The uh, three-star right tackle. Just going to start. I want to lock some guys up. I want some guys to commit. I've seen players committing verbally around the league, and it is time for some players to start saying, look, I want to come to lovely Northeast Ohio. Said Ooh. nobody ever. And uh, come on down and rock with the Zips. Vernon Rambo, as I was saying, team uh, players are committing now verbally to schools. He went ahead and chose Toledo. So we can, uh, man, that sucks. I was looking at Vernon. I feel like we put some uh, points into him a couple weeks ago. So we'll take him off of our board. No sense in having him. We are up on Miles Garba as well. And no, 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 no. Keen Bullocks. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to get him anyways, but he decided to go with Tennessee. So <laughs> that's one less quarterback that we have to worry about looking at now. And then Daniel Keenan. I don't know what happened. We were like literally like an ant's pubic hair away from having him choose us. What? And then I don't know. It's like he uh, I, Ohio State didn't even nobody offered him. I don't know why. Maybe he was just watching us lose last week. Maybe that's what it was. But I think we're also going to uh, soft sell Mr. Daniel here. So we'll take off. Uh, we had the friends and family thing on there. And I think it's time to go ahead and see if we could pitch him something. I'm not sure what he's really looking for, what he likes. 
playing style it's good to see that we don't know proximity to home would also be awesome but we don't know if he even likes that or not but i do think it's game time here is the best way to go because we do got the playing style which is b plus conference prestige and c minus but if he if he likes proximity to home this will work wonders and look at that ben hakeem this that athletic quarterback that we just added we are now first on his list as well. And you know what? I only got 10 points left. Let's just go ahead and get him fully scouted so we can really see what we're working with. I like the 90 speed. I like the 88 acceleration. I like the throw power. I see why he's an athletic guy. He's got some abilities. He's got the fan favorite ability. He's got the magician ability off platform. So he could be he could be a guy. And sitting behind Ben Finley for a year, maybe he's the future here in Akron. Not 100% sure. But we are really close. I'm hoping that we get some commits after this game. But let's go take care of business against Ohio Bobcats first. And maybe some players will like to see that. From Northeast Ohio all the way down to Southern Ohio, it is MAC Conference play happening here today. The Bobcats are actually a lower overall rated team than us, which does not happen too much. So let's go out here. Please get this W and try to lock in some of these recruits. So if you guys are fired up for some more uh, EA College Football 25 Zips Dynasty content, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Almost at 1,000 subscribers. Got to get there. Got to give away NFL jerseys to you guys. Please click that subscribe button. It is free, and there will be so much more content with Madden 25 right around the corner. But without further ado, guys, let's get on down to Athens, Ohio and get ready for the game. Welcome to Peden Stadium, Athens, Ohio, home to the Bobcats of Ohio U. We're looking forward to a full house and a terrific game in this one. Today, a battle in the Buckeye State and battle lines will be drawn from Cleveland to Cincinnati. As we'll see a squad from the back, the Akron Sims, taking on a team looking for its first win, the Ohio Bobcats. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Akron, you going to get the ball first. How about a quick strike offense? That would be lovely to see. How about a kick return? I don't think I'm ever going to see that. Dudley Saxton certainly not going to see it. But how about Ben Finley, though? Our junior quarterback over 1,000 yards, 9-4 to four on the touchdown interception ratio. So, you know, a little over 2-1. to one. Not the worst thing in the world. And we're going to start out here something a little safe. RPO looking. Phase on Wilson's way. And Alex Adams jockeying for position. Holding a good block. I didn't even necessarily cut it the right way. But it ended up working out pretty well. And we do start out picking up a first down on our opening play of the game. Let's see if we can get Keys, our, uh, one of our better players, arguably. And oh. Needed Colin Lyons to hold that block for just a split second sooner. And we could have had something there. But gain of four, not the worst thing in the world. Start to go a little drags here. Maybe find Wisner, which I actually don't like. It was a good lead pass. Bobby Golden catches that. Finley put that thing right on the money. Going to continue to try to get this ground game established. It has been a bit of a struggle lately. I tried to cut outside there with Kellum and it's like he almost like he got wrapped into an animation or something and gain a two it's gonna be the end result I am gonna put Alex Adams on a curl and I'm actually gonna custom stem this pup oh wait no I just audibled into the complete wrong play um but I guess we're rocking with this so okay and it's gonna be a sack Mm -mm. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Oh, man. And that was on me, too. I, I, I can't be too upset about that. And third and 13. I mean, ooh, Wisner, though. Wisner, he's open. Come on, Max. Plow forward. Fourth and inches. There is not a snowball's chance in Hades that I am putting this ball no, sir. No, how. We're going to come out QB sneak and at least just see what it's looking like. I think Ben Finley can put his head down. Charge ahead forward. Thank you. And this could actually be... Could be Kellum or Wilson. Probably Kellum. It's Kellum. Yeah, it's Kellum. Can I get a block of any kind out there? No? 
All right, cool. Thank you. Second and eight, I can usually hit Wisner on this play action out of this set. Let's see if he gets open because I'm probably locking in on him. Come on, deliver a bullet. That's picked. That's picked. Yeah. Yeah, I had tunnel vision on Wisner. No doubt about it. Shouldn't have thrown that pass. That was just me calling a play that I usually, you know, I usually know what the result of it's going to be. And you can't do that. You can't do that. You always got to read the field. And I know that. So there's really no excuse for that. And it looked like it was going to be a promising drive. And unfortunately, it comes to a screeching halt. And now we'll have to see if this uh, Zips defense can bail us out. Well, it's going to be an end around. I mean, good uh, closing speed there. But how is he still going? That's Egan Pugh, the sophomore, with the heck of an effort. Should have had him on the first or the second tackle. And somehow he was... <laughs> He was still going, so gain of seven results. And uh, Navarro Parker, the quarterback, going to go to the ground. It's Ricky Hunt Jr. We've had a bit of a bit of a you know struggle stopping the run in some of these games. We'll see what Hunt's able to do to us today. I think we're going to go press here and got to watch though the safeties manning up on the running back. Nice. Mo what am I watching here? Legit. What am I watching? I'm no screw the replay. I don't even care. That was a bit of a BS. Got to be kind of cognizant of like a screen or something, though. It's not going to be a screen. It's going to be a check down underneath. That is Rodney Harris. And more importantly, that is a third and seven. So come on, guys. Let's make sure we don't get beat here. I don't really like this press that I'm seeing on the outside necessarily. Navarro just going to throw it away. And OK. I will take it, bend but don't break, damage control. They should drill this, although, got to make sure I don't run into the kicker. That is going to be good, just barely. That's going to take us to the end of the first, zero to three. What a slobber knocker we got going on here. Offensive explosion by both teams. And I mean, it's two, two bad teams in the MAC. You know, you kind of, kind of know what you're going to expect, but it's still a game that, we should win this game, man. There's no, in my opinion, right, which doesn't mean too much. There's no reason that we shouldn't win this game. And uh, really <laughs> don't want to see that. Uh, I want to see that happen, I should say. We're going to go golden again. That was almost a diving acrobatic interception. I like RPO to Wilson again. He should get open, which he will. Alex Adams, I need you to set a block, my guy. I need you to set a block, my guy. If you set a block on that, it's money. But maybe he can redeem himself on press here, which I don't think he's gonna. And this is just, yeah, man. Okay. Gotta lock in here. I don't know, like, if these routes aren't getting open or what the heck. Our offense is not looking fluid at all. By his grace. And that is going to be a bailout. That's what I'm talking about. See, I know I complain about it when it goes against me, but it's, you know, it's, it's in the game. There's way too many of them. We just get gifted with a free first down, which I can't. That was huge. Like, I feel like screen is like the only thing that <laughs> we even have a shot at making work. Marquise Williams is going to get it. And. Maybe he's five yards short. Um, yeah, the things that uh, were working in previous games, like the, the drags and stuff like that, is really not working too well in this one. And I'm really hoping that Keith Williams can run a good... Oh, God, why does that corner... He was playing the flat. As dumb as this might be, and it's probably going to be dumb. It's going to go for it because we don't have... We can't get anything going here. How about uh, Alex Adams on a curl? And I actually want to uh, kind of custom stem this a little bit down. Got to make sure he gets past the line again, though. Definitely. But I'm probably not going to go his way. We're going to go to Bobby Golden, who catches it. Wow. Okay. I didn't think I was going to need to take my blood pressure medication in this game. I thought I was going to be free to skip it. That is not the case. I need to see Alex Adams beat on some press. That's really what I need to see. Ah, not going to go that way. We're going to go to Faison. 
It catches it for five. Might just be four down territory throughout. I'm hoping that Bobby Golden, yeah, Bobby Golden should have this. Thank you. That was a nice block set. Golden gonna score, yes. Why was that so tough? <laughs> Why was that drive so tough? Against the Ohio Bobcats, man, their defense was uh, locked in on that one. Speaking of locked in, I might have missed that. Barely. But okay, we go up 7-3. That's good. Four and a half to go. We got the ball first? Question mark? Yeah, we did. I think. So hopefully we can uh, have a quick three and out, get the ball back. I want to build this lead, get a little bit of a cushion because the offense is tough. So I don't want the Bobcats to build any sort of sizable lead. If they do that, I do not like our chances. Or at least if the rest of this game is uh, any indication on how that last drive went. Because that was that was not an easy drive. Like, wasn't an easy drive. End around. Somebody get there, please. Nice uh, run there by Egan Pugh. Navarro's got this tight end slash fullback. He's a tight end. But playing like the fullback position. That's a good run stop there. No gain on the play. And want to let this clock tick down, you know, because hopefully we can get the ball back, score, and score right before halftime. That would be the ideal situation. It's going to be run again. Somebody get him. Thank you, Ricky Hunt Jr., trying to make me go grab that blood pressure medication as he almost was able to break tackles. I think we can safely guess pass here. I do. I'm going to have CJ Nunnally kind of... Oh, it's a design run. Was that a direct snap? It almost looked like a direct snap. Really, really hoping this is a run. So I brought out the 46 run stuff in defense, and it is a run, and it does work. Third and eight. Come on, boys. Let's just play some good zone coverage. We're going to guess pass. We're also going to shade inside, and that's going to actually be the two-minute warning. So we're going to have to wait. I need some pressure from the inside, the defensive tackle position. Lama LaVeya, where are you at? Bennett Adler, where are you at? I need you guys to get back there and force Navarro to throw an errant pass, which, I mean, there's no way. Unreal catch by the receiver on the sideline. Bobcats taking all this time off of the clock, too. Come on, screen pass. Almost had him. They're going to get out of bounds. But they're taking most of this clock down, and this is not the kind of drive that I wanted to see. I wanted to see us, you know, see us get them off of the field quick, get the ball back. Obviously, it didn't work that way. And there's a nice pass breakup. Thank you. Going to make it second and 10. Field goal, not the worst thing in the world here. Because, I mean, as long as, you know, we got to, if they don't pick this up, I may call a timeout. If I'm being perfectly honest, because I want to have one more shot. Not going to have to call a timeout. Because another incomplete pass. Come on, guys. Come on, Zips. Lock in. Lama LaVeya, defensive line. Please force him out of the pocket. Thank you. Good pressure up the middle. Bobcats are going to kick a field goal. We're going to have a minute 27 seconds left to operate. Going to Oh, black kick animation. I was so scared to even do that. I got the animation off the edge, which is nice. But I was so scared to even do that because, again, we saw it once already. So many roughing the kicker flags in this game. They got to do something about it because it's honestly crazy. But a minute 24, all three timeouts. Let's just get down the field. My shotgun here going to be a play fake. Got to get this ball off and we'll just check it down to Charles Kellum. He has some room on the edge there. Time not really a factor. I don't need to worry about, you know, going hurry up necessarily. We got all three timeouts. We got... Plenty of time here to execute. Right now, I'm just worried about playing some good football and, most importantly, playing some mistake-free football. So that's going to be a nice little check down there. Again, fine with that. Don't even really have to kill the clock yet because we're inside a minute, but just barely. And 36-yard uh, line, still a lot of ground to make up. So got to start looking down the field. And that was just it's a catch. Still not going to call a timeout, though. Don't think that we have to yet. This might be a deep shot to Adams, too. We'll see if he can get open. Come on, Wisner. Oh, Finley. Now we'll go ahead and call a timeout. We're moving here into Bobcats territory, which I do like. We're going to go to our running back, Kellum. And I'm going to call a timeout. I probably should. 
I don't want to go hurry up though. Uh, turbo situation. Not really 100% confident with that. That should be an interception. Un freaking real. We looked very good against South Carolina. We looked very poor against the Ohio Bobcats and just like nothing's coming easy. Oh, uh, come on, man. God. He's going to score, isn't he? They're going to get a field goal out of it. They're going to take the lead. And I don't even know what to say about this one. Lock kick animation would be nice. I don't care about running into the kicker on this one. Uh, no, not going to get it. All right. So 9-7. We are playing like trash. Hot dumpster garbage fires. Got a whole second half to figure it out. But man, are we going to have to do just that? Because uh, right now it does not look pretty. And the Bobcats now have the lead. Two interceptions from Ben Finley. Not going to get it done. Turnaround starts now. I believe in you guys. Uh, I need Damian Lewis to play some man coverage out there. It's probably going to be a run, though. It's not. It's a play fake and quick check down to the flat. Big hit on the tight end. He does pick up four. And I think we're going to send some heat. Feel comfortable with that. Actually, <laughs> I don't. But we're doing it anyways. Come on, Darian Lewis. Get a good press. There we go. Loss of a massive four. And come on, Zips. Dig deep down within your loins. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Got to watch all these routes here. And it's actually a run. Are you kidding me? But we're there to stop him. Okay. Got to watch the fake punt here, but that is exactly the chance, the opportunity that we needed to get back in this one and just got to play mistake-free, turnover-free football. If we do that, we got a chance, but that was not what happened in the first half. Would love to get the run established. That would take some of the pressure off of Finley, and it's just difficult in this one. We saw it uh, work decent against South Carolina. But so far, not in this one. But I'll tell you what, I got a plan up these sleeves of mine that I'm not wearing. And it involves Faison Wilson, quick step drop. Give me some freaking cookies. Perfect pass from Finley. That's the touch pass I was looking for. So many times these touch passes from Finley are really more like lobs. But that one was a true touch pass. And boy, howdy, did we need that. Uh, I think we're going to go back to Keese here. Although the RPO, no. We're just going to go run. Give me some blocks. Thank you. It's the best. It's a fumble. Oh, somebody kill me, please. What is this game? I mean, seriously. Let's break it down, shall we? First drive that actually looks good. We're doing everything correctly unless we somehow get a booth review which we're not going to. The EA gods are just not smiling on me today. That's that's all I can say. Come on, get to Navarro, man. Good defense there on the edge. It's all right. I'm happy. I'm having a good time in this one. If you guys can't tell. Jamon Cooper, let's see if he can get uh, some pressure back there to Navarro. It's off target throw. And if nothing else, our defense is playing well enough, I suppose, to keep us in this. But um, yeah. This is it right here. We got to get him off the field on third down. Come on, dude. You I mean, you guys are watching the same game as me. Like, literally everything is going the Bobcats way. That was a good, that was good defense. No way he should have broke that. But he did. Oh, yeah, he did. And this is just like. <laughs> it's all right. We're locking in. Still a lot of football left to go, but like, wow. I don't know what I'm watching or what I'm playing, rather. And I did not think that this Bobcats game was going to be this difficult. And like, we're, we're, I just don't even know. You guys, you, you guys know. You guys are watching it. If I'm screwing up, I'm screwing up. If, if I'm doing the right things and the Bobcats are just getting lucky, that's what's happening. If it's a mixture of both, it's a mixture of both but it's just like wide open on the wheel route or the flat. Ricky Hunt Jr. carving us up. I need Darian Lewis to come in here unblocked and get some pressure. 
Run defense is looking pretty good. Drop and hunt for a loss of one. I do like to see that. Lama, Leve Lama Levea, our defensive tackle, starting to kind of get wore out there. So got to watch him. Don't want him to get injured. He's a pretty good player for us. And Navarro just, wow, hung in that pocket. Almost got sacked, but was able to get it away. And it's looking like the Bobcats are going to put up another six. Unless our defense can hold him to a field goal. That would be great. But um, that's not going to happen. And we have to really turn the Jets on on offense um, because not it's not out of reach yet. It's a two-score game now. Um, but, yeah, man, that last drive was looking good and then just unfortunate with the fumble. Nothing you can do about that, I guess. Fumbles do happen in football all the time. So, I mean, we just, you know, got unlucky there, I suppose. Got to find a way to march down here and put up six. It's pretty much a must-score situation. Wow, they gave Keith the snowflake, too. They're saying he's cold. He's got to come out here and change things. <laughs> What's a guy to do? I mean, what is a guy to do, dude? Uh, Marquise Williams, brother, you're done for this game. You're done for this game. You, I, I know you're banged up out there. And we're bringing in Justin Simmons, who hasn't, or Jordan Simmons, rather, who hasn't had any playing time. Senior. Is he a senior? I think he's a senior. Two back-to-back -back fumbles for Marquise Williams. I mean, that's just like... I don't even know what to say. That's that's crazy. That is crazy. Good run defense stopping Nolan McCormick for a loss of three. All right, we're going to have Antavius Fish just kind of sit here and patrol the middle of the field. It's good run defense again. Can they fumble it? Is that possible? Can that, like, that would be great. That would be great. Probably not going to happen, uh, but I don't got to force them off the field here. And that is... Not good defense, but it worked out well enough. Unless we uh, get some, got some quick strike offense up our sleeves. Our defense isn't playing bad. They're really not playing bad. It's just unfortunate break after unfortunate break. And we're going to need some things to go our way in this fourth quarter if we even stand a chance. Got to be phased on Wilson on the quick step drop. Come on, Finley. Fit it in there. Wilson hangs on. No more fumbles, guys. Please. I am begging you. No more fumbles. Let's go something safe here. I mean, I was going to go uh, RPO. But honestly, it it might just be phase on again right up the seam. I mean, it's, it's looking like it. It's looking like it. It's the best offense we've seen all game. And it comes in the early stages of the fourth quarter. But the thing is, though, I'm scared to run now. All these fumbles, I am scared to run. Probably can't run anyways, but I'll try putting Alex Adams. Can he maybe be his man on press? That would just be absolutely lovely if he could. We're going to give him a chance. I don't think he has it. Or does he? Oh, he had a chance. Had a chance and dropped it. And that's what I'm saying. Just things are not going our way in this game. We got some chances, but it's just, you know, it's just one of those things. Come on, Max. Should have hit him way sooner, I guess. End result, though, still six. Oh, man, probably. I mean, yeah, obvious four down territory here. Definitely. Um, but Wisner again. Come on, Wisner. Oh, he went backwards. Oh, man, I thought for sure we had that dude. And I don't even know. We're going to go screen pass. If we don't get this, that is inevitably the ball game and we got a lot of things to figure out come on it's marquise williams too okay there we go thank you you can redeem yourself right here right here keys thank you we're still in the ball game marquise williams redeems himself totally redeems himself after those fumbles and we got ourselves a jolt of electricity Still got to play good defense, but we are right back in this thing. 19 to 14 on what was our easily our best drive of the game so far. What a fumble. Fumble would be grand. We, God knows we've gotten enough of them. 
does our defense have one more big stand in them? I think, I, I know. Matter of fact, I know you guys do. I know you guys got one more big stand in you, but it's time to do it. This is going to be an end around probably. No, it's not. It's a run up the gut. We need a fumble. I might even, uh, I'm not going to put the, the uh, tackling to aggressive quite yet. That could be something that definitely happens here in the foreseeable future. It's probably going to be a run, one would think. So come on, just please get some good penetration. We actually do. Third and four. Oh, boy. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I just, I don't know. Yeah, yeah we're cooked. We're cooked. Yeah, we're cooked. Come on, David Jester. Looking like a damn Jester out there. I mean, we had, we, we had the 46 defense out there, to be fair. Fully expecting the run. It was not a run. And a big, big dagger by the Bobcats. So now, we're pretty much talking score and onside kick. In four minutes. We had him in third down. Had a chance to get him off of the field. I'm not even returning this. Don't want to risk a fumble. Do we have, do we have the stuff to do it? No. <laughs> we don't, but we're going to give it the college try. No pun intended. Who's going to get open? Let's go outside. It's only going to be a minimal gain. I really want to hit Wisner up the middle. That's not going to happen, though, but we have Charles Kellum, our running back, getting open on the Texas route, so I suppose I will take that in. I don't know why they want me to go HB draw. I don't know why I'm doing it, but I'm doing it. Um, running game, yeah. Okay, well, hey, Keese. Okay. Keese is really starting to redeem himself after that fumble. I do like that. And not sure why these coach suggestions only have one play, but they do. I'm thinking Faison's my first read, which, I mean, he's open. Going to catch it. So we're taking a lot of time off this clock. Might be Alex Adams right up the middle, man. We're going to go to him. Oh, what an acrobatic catch by Alex Adams. And why? It took this long for our offense to finally start looking good. I mean, come on, man. And we're uh, approaching the two-minute warning here. Wisner, I need you to catch it and go out of bounds. Of course you didn't. And I don't know. They're only calling one play for me. I don't like it. That's why you see me just keep going to uh, my favorite section here. Now we got to be aggressive here because we, we don't have that much time. So we're going to be looking for... Uh, Alex Adams, and we had to throw out of the sack. This game is tough, guys. And it really shouldn't be. At least I didn't think it would. See if uh, Wilson... No, let's go to Wisner. And can Wisner juke a man? He almost did. Like I said, score and onside kick. I mean, that's what it is. Score and onside kick. So right now, the clock's not, uh, you know, really too much of a factor. I'm going to put Alex Adams on a drag in case we... Need him, which that is going to be the move. And Adams may just score. And then, then you start asking yourself, do you kick the onside kick? We got all three timeouts. I feel like we have to, though, because if Ohio gets the ball back, like, I don't... Oh, God, we got stuffed. Are you kidding me? We really got stuffed on that play. Is that really what happened? That is what happened. I'm not happy about it. I know I'm taking way too much time off of this clock. But I want to make sure that, uh, you know, we score first and foremost here. So maybe uh, we're just going to step up with Finley. And we may not even, we don't have to score a touchdown technically. Of course, I want to because we need two scores anyways, right? So let's just see if that is what happens. Max Wisner is open and he's going to score. Okay, so it's going to come down to an onside kick. And I mean, if nothing else, we turn this into an exciting game, which I really didn't want it to be. Now we got to try to get the onside kick. We're going to go for the high kick and probably not going to matter, but you never know. It's right to him, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's right to him. <laughs> well, a valiant effort, I guess. Not happy about losing to the Ohio Bobcats. I mean, I guess we could technically get the ball back here. We definitely could. And probably got to put our tackling to... See, having to use that timeout there in the red zone really killed me. Four o'clock management by me. But strip ball, aggressive, tackling, aggressive. 
Of course, they are... Uh, I'm out pissed. No way they don't run this, right? No. I mean, if they pass it, they got some cojones, so kudos to them. And it is going to be a run. And of course, we can't stop him. And that is going to be the ball game, unfortunately. And they're gonna we're going to drop to... The 0-4, about to be 1-4, Ohio Bobcats. Look, this dynasty is going to be tough. The Akron Zips are not a good team. And you saw it on full display in this one. Like, just a lot of things didn't go our way. I would say the only real, this is my opinion. I mean, you guys feel free. Correct me if you think I'm wrong. The only real mess up by me was the fumble. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, the interception that I was going to Max Wisner uh, later stages of the second quarter. And then that was bad clock management. I will be the first to admit that was bad clock management having to use that timeout. But would it have even mattered? That's the thing. Would it have even mattered? I'm not so sure. That was also a pretty uh, unfortunate play there that we saw on the replay. But yeah, so taking a look at this game and recapping things here. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is Ben Finley? 307 yards, three touchdowns, two picks. Good completion percentage, but the running attack, I mean, it started to get there with Keese Williams, but look, those two fumbles, that is what really did us in. Faison Wilson played good, and uh, Wisner, we didn't really have any one person that kind of stood out. It was kind of just a team effort with our wide receivers. Another game with no sacks, another game with no picks. That's also not going to help you win football games. You got to get some turnovers on defense if you don't if you don't ever force turnovers like you're probably never going to win football games and right now we're kind of feeling the effects of that so our defense definitely needs to step it up is anybody gonna we'll go ahead and advance the week here we dropped to one and four whatever you know it was bound to happen i suppose we'll see if anybody decided to uh commit to us which i highly doubt we're first on ben hakeem which is nice and how about that kevin teague commits to the university of miami it was a tight race we were trying our best to keep up with it but you know miami's a much more powerful powerful school than us so one of the biggest guys that we were looking at getting ends up going to a different team we take on bowling green state and i believe we have a visit scheduled for next week as well with somebody. So, I mean, just kind of looking at we're ahead of Northwestern now. That's good. Anybody, Tavita Skura is really close to committing. And I might just, uh, we could probably just sell him now. We could probably just sell him now. I can't. No, I can't. That's right. I'm sending the house. He should commit, I think, probably next week. And... We got to get some guys, guys. We got to get some guys here. Ben Hakeem, we are very far ahead on his top school, so that's good. But hey, you know, wasn't the end result that we wanted, but it's the end result that we got. Got to keep pushing forward, and hopefully next week is better. So that is going to do it for me tonight, guys. As always, I appreciate you stopping by. I will catch you on the next one. Until then, peace.